All righty, in this problem, we're gonna deal with two media. We have a medium on top, a medium on the bottom, and can you tell that the light comes in and bends toward the normal, making this medium the slower of the two? So if I knew what this angle was, how would I calculate that angle? You'd use Snell's law, except we have two different indices of refraction. Which one do you use? Well, we have to go take a look at this idea. We're gonna combine the two media through two separate experiments. In this experiment, we're gonna put the medium on the bottom from medium one, let the light come in from a vacuum. It's gonna to bend toward the normal. Now, instead of calling that a refracted angle, I'm just gonna call it angle one to go with this medium. Here's Snell's law, sine I over sine angle one is the index of refraction for medium one. I'm gonna do the same experiment with medium two. I'm gonna have the same angle, I. The light comes in from the vacuum and it bends toward the normal. A2 is a different refracted angle, different medium. Same formula though, different values, except for I, they're gonna be the same. We can relate these two formulas through sine I. Bring this over to here, bring this over to here, set them equal to each other, and we have N1 sine angle one equals N2 sine angle two, and that is just another expression of Snell's law. Could we still use, this, this is great for when you have two different medium. What if you have just a vacuum and you're going into one medium? Just make N equals one for a vacuum. Now let's apply this to our problem. We're going to put numbers to this problem right here. We're gonna have water and glass. The light goes from the water into the glass. Glass is a slower medium, so yeah, it should bend toward the normal. This angle is 35 degrees. The refracted angle, I'm just gonna call A2. So this is gonna be angle one, angle two. N1 sine angle one equals N2 sine angle two. 1.33 is the index of refraction for water times sine of 35 equals 1.5 times sine of angle two. We solve for angle two and we get 30.6 degrees, which seems to check out because glass is slower than the water and the angle shows that we bent toward the normal. So that might help you do some of these problems. 